Hey folks, got a lot of uh, requests about a guide to Vermintide, so I got a leading member of the community to help me out. Lunathex, let's now have a chat about Victor Saltspire's ranged weapons. The crossbow is still a fantastic weapon. I, there was some contention about the active reload, which is merely just you press R and reload as soon as you fire. So you can reload a lot faster. It's still, it's got good grouping, and the crossbow has a trait where it has infinite penetrations. So, th this is a fantastic weapon in close quarters, as you can see. Yeah, no joke. Uh, the it did it did get uh, get an overall boost to it uh, to its um, reload speed in the 1.5 patch, didn't it? Uh, Mastercraft had gotten nerfed, but like I said, they they fixed act they put active reload back for this one, but not the handgun. Mm. And one shotting clan uh, clan rats on Cataclysm is legitimately just fine. Those things are so obnoxious. Now, an important thing to realize about. You need to pick the right weapon to go with the right weapon. Do you know what I'm saying here? Yes, you do. You definitely do need to coordinate it with uh, with your melee weapon. So if you have, for uh, for example, you know the rapier, uh, the the crossbow, maybe uh, maybe doesn't make quite as much sense because you uh, you already have some gr uh, some great uh, some great ranged on your offhand. I think the crossbow fits best with. Let's see, the two-handed sword lacks any sort of killing power against, you know, the, the non-soft targets here, so I think the crossbow would fit better with that one. Definitely. Now, the repeater pistol, for me, has been a matter of some serious, serious doubt. It People swore by it in 1.4 as a storm vermin clear, and I guess it still kind of does that. However... We've barely begun to scratch the surface on weapons that are great against storm vermin. Right. And for Saltspire to give up a wet, like to give up any option against the ogre or against clan rats, because I left the damage numbers on here for a reason. You see, I mean, th it seems to be performing rather well against the the uh, storm vermin. So here's a strength potion with a with a regular old repeater going up against the ogre. It's not working out very well here. Uh -huh. I'm gonna bring out a. Uh, a modded one here with 100% Hail of Doom and Skullcracker, which is the uh, automatic headshot. So, I mean, you all get... of these things are headshots, basically. Yeah, and then we're gonna try that again on the ogre, and we'll see. You know, it... assuming you make every single headshot and you're doubling up on all of it, I mean, then it's starting to work like pretty much any other weapon would. It is not worth giving up like the sheer killing power of any other weapon for this, because it can't even one-shot a clan rat on Nightmare with a headshot. Which makes a whole lot of sense, doesn't that? It's, uh, yeah, it, re it really do uh, doesn't. That said, I can still uh, still see an, ar an argument for, uh, for it in terms of suppression, um, hor uh, hordes coming in like that, but even that falls a little bit short when you compare it to this weapon. Yeah, Rupture would be great for the repeater, but so would Ammo Holder and... Tar targeteer maybe, but I mean, it, it's still only doing one extra damage to their heads. The and again, what what when you're when you're comparing it to the brace of pistols, it's really di uh, difficult to argue for it. Yeah, I mean, the look at this. It also got buffed in this patch. Yeah, no, it's it's way more accurate now. Uh, now, so even even though it was pretty easy to uh, use before, now uh, now a t this time around, you know, heck, you're you're hitting a whole bunch of headshots just just dodging backward. Storm vermin getting owned. Don't forget that every time in the last stand, that's on that's on the highest difficulty when you see the sound, the horror, and daylight, and all that. Yep. Now this is on nightmare. Just you know, just putting the brace of pistols to the work here. This is the one weapon I would definitely take target here on, just to so so I could have ammo holder, hail of doom. But rupture is really what makes this weapon shine. Uh, mm. Because you only hit, you don't penetrate any rats without it. So being able to hit anybody behind the one rat in front of you is about to hit you, who's also going to hit you. Yeah, it's extremely helpful with this weapon. Because even though you can dodge like this and just be all sorts of badass, yeah, you you definitely want to hit a lot of guys with that. That timing is really hard to get too. But now we're talking we're talking about the really big guns for him. Don't mind the crossbows that are just like the bolts that are just like sitting off the edge there. That's just some Halo Doom weirdness. Now, the All Fire fires three bolts, but Halo Doom translates that to six. This weapon owns bones, the volley bow. It has all the so, benefits of the regular crossbow. 
when you fire normal, infinite penetrations, as you can see in Castle Drakenfell, is just killing all of these slave rats, no problem. I believe the damage Assault is actually fires. a little bit lower than the regular crossbow. It is one point low, uh, lower on all facings, which, uh, which makes it a little bit weird in like certain certain situations but generally speaking it's a straight upgrade to the crossbow this is without a strength potion you can see just how much damage we were able to pull off on that ogre with the, with one clip mm -hmm. and barden steals your kill yeah that's the second time that happened but here's a strength potion <laughs> i got pretty good on the headshot there for for the first volley Mastercrafted is without a doubt the most important trait on this one, I think. Other yeah. Otherwise, you're just not going to have much killing power, and you you want to reload in combat too, I think. Good night, Roger. Just kind of lays down. 